Hey everybody. So today, uh, not making soap, what I am is putting together my soap curing rack that I got from Websterant. Um, it's a great resource. They have the stainless steel pitchers for your lye that you can use. Um, they have the big poly buckets in multiple sizes, um, poly pitchers. So they are a great resource and really good pricing. So I buy, I bought a baker's rack that I use for curing my soaps and I got another one down here that I'm going to put together and you can watch me <laughs> attempt to do that. Uh, I am not a handyman <laughs> at all, but I got the last one put together so I'm going to try this one and I figured I'd bring you all along to uh, watch me do it and um, I'll show you the one that I have set up already. All right, so here is the one that I have already set up and uh, I buy the half sheet um, the perforated half sheets to put my soap on because for me they fit one batch of my soap perfectly each sheet and that way it's not so heavy when I pick it up and I don't stack it up high I know some people have um, concerns about weight bearing and it being tippy it's very sturdy I find it's very sturdy and I just don't put the soap all the way at the top um, and the sheets that I got are aluminum, so I just lined them with parchment paper or freezer paper. Um, and with the perforated bottom, they're perfect. The uh, airflow and the soaps are curing wonderfully. And this is a double stack, so for each one of these, there's a soap back there too, if you can see. So there's the one that I'm going to be putting together. upright and level. There you go. And you can see how easy that was. And here are my half sheets that I put freezer paper on. And I can fit two batches per rack. So that was pretty easy. Yay, and now I have another one. So I'm just going to tighten these nuts up and uh, it'll be ready to load up with soaps. Super excited. 